In 1842, Joseph Smith, the first prophet and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, wrote down 13 of the religion's fundamental beliefs. Number three on the list says this, We believe that through the atonement of Christ, all mankind may be saved by obedience to the laws and ordinances of the gospel. So let's talk about salvation. All right, guys, here's the deal. The big ticket topic of this article of faith has to do with the age old question, are we saved by grace or works? But it will help immensely if you first understand what salvation means for Latter-day Saints. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. I'll dedicate an entire episode to the grace versus works question in the future. In fact, I already have it written. But for now, just know that we believe we are saved by grace. There's absolutely nothing we can do to save ourselves or earn our way to heaven. But keep an eye out for an entire episode just about this in the future. Now, salvation. What do we need to be saved from? To put it simply, physical and spiritual death. Our bodies are gifts from God. Eventually, God wants each of us to have a perfected, glorified, eternal, and resurrected body like Jesus Christ. But, as we're all keenly aware of, we're all going to die one day. Our bodies are going to wither away and decompose, and there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. That's one problem. Spiritual death, also known as sin, is another problem. No unclean thing can dwell in the presence of God, right? How dare you profane this place with your prince? Well, that means we're kind of screwed because we've all sinned and all come short of the glory of God. If Christ had not intervened on our behalf, sin would keep us forever banished from our heavenly home, and there would be nothing we could do about it. Jesus Christ saves us from the consequences of both physical and spiritual death. Because he was resurrected, we will all be resurrected, thereby overcoming the obstacle of physical death. And because Jesus Christ paid the price for our sins, repentance is possible. We can be cleansed of sin, thereby overcoming the obstacle of spiritual death. Technically, that's what we're saved from, and that's salvation in its most basic form. That said, exaltation is a little different than salvation, though Latter-day Saints, including our prophets, will often use the two words interchangeably. That gets confusing for people outside of our religion, so I'm separating the two. Before we move on to exaltation, let's review Latter-day Saint teachings about heaven, because that's important. To most Christian denominations, there's heaven or hell, and that's it. It's eternal happiness or eternal punishment. To us, we believe in at least three different levels or degrees of heaven. Those in the lower levels are more separated from God than those in the highest level. But because of Christ's grace, essentially everyone who ever lives will eventually end up somewhere in those three kingdoms of heaven. But exaltation is more than just living somewhere in heaven. It's living in the highest degree of heaven and having the opportunity to literally become like God. Yeah, I just said that. Not replacing God, but learning how to do the things he does, know the things he knows, and be the kind of person he wants us to be. Exalted beings live in God's presence and share in his glory and joy. So, salvation has to do with overcoming sin and death and inheriting a home somewhere in heaven. Exaltation has more to do with what we will be doing in heaven. Knowing the difference is important. So, when the article of faith says that through the atonement of Christ, all mankind may be saved by obedience to the laws and ordinances of the gospel, it's actually referencing exaltation, not just salvation. Salvation comes by grace alone. The scriptures are clear on that. Exaltation is also an act of grace, but its reception is conditional upon our obedience to God's commandments. But again, we're going to jump into that a lot more in an upcoming episode. If you still have questions about what salvation and exaltation are, check out the links in the description. Read more about this topic on saintsunscripted.com, send us a message, leave a comment, and we'll get back to you. You guys are awesome, and we'll see you next time.